Okay, so now let's talk about the components of uh, this something we call virtual infrastructure. Of course, to be able to 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 build something which is rock solid and where you put your what your 50, 60, 80, somebody 100 person up, all your Intel-based applications, uh, you need some foundations, solid foundations. Uh, one of the key components is our virtualized file system, we call it VMFS, yeah? which is a state-of-the-art file system. Yeah? It's proprietary, we need to have proprietary file system. We can also work with the NFS, NPFS, and other file systems, but we prefer to have this proprietary file system for the advanced features. Yeah? And as you can read, it's a high-performance faster file system. Yeah? If you and it's a concurrent, uh, this file system allows concurrent access to the file system which is uh, critical also for advanced features. Of course, most of you are not, I don't know, somebody is buying still uh, one core CPU or whether it's possible to get on the market a one core CPU. Probably everything is two cores, will be soon four cores, eight cores, yeah? And to be able to get the power of this, yeah, you also need to create something like symmetrical multiprocessing also on the individual individual world. Yeah. So take the power from the hardware and put it also in the virtual server. Yeah. So currently the we can code with 32 cores yeah, on the hardware side and we can create eight core virtual servers. This time. Vmotion is, is uh, something which uh, was uh, in press for quite some time. It's for people who understand IT a little bit. It's uh, quite impressive. Vmotion means that uh, your virtual machines, two virtual machines are running, or two physical servers, yeah, and you need to move your virtual environment, your virtual machine, yeah? your virtual server from one physical machine to another. We can do it with a piece of code which we call vMotion. Basically, we took the content of the RAM, where the virtual machine is running, and we transfer it to the gigabit Ethernet. We recommend gigabit Ethernet interface, and it takes two seconds to move your one virtual server from one physical server to another physical server. Uh, we can demo it, of course, uh, but it needs a, a proper setup. We so a short, very short notice. Uh, but if somebody is interested to see it, it's really very impressive. We can demo it, and maybe we can arrange some future appointments, uh, and we can do it. Yeah? Of course, uh, 10 gigabit is coming, so we. we Hope if you, we will reduce this, we are not happy already with two seconds. Okay. We will reduce this time. The demo is very impressive, so we keep pinging the virtual link, and basically you are you are losing one ping when you are moving this to uh, when you are moving virtual virtual server from one physical to another. But that's better to see rather than talk about it. Vmotion is a is a critical piece for our high availability features. DRS, yeah. So imagine you have your hardware, your server farm, yeah. You have uh, established a uh, virtual infrastructure. You have virtual servers spread across your uh, hard, uh, physical servers. Uh, you you need to do the maintenance, for example, one server, yeah. Or you you are running like billing application. Yeah, which you run for telcos, which you run usually only once per month. Yeah. And for billing you need to run it at full speed. Yeah. So you can allocate more hardware resources to your virtual environment. This is this is the the time when you need for DRS, dynamic resource schedule. It's a piece of software which controls the load. Yeah. And once either you define where you want to get more resources or you 
he, he is able to recognize when you are reaching the, the top of the resource, yeah. when you are fully utilized the physical server, and he's, then he's able to dynamically spread the virtual machines to achieve the balance of across the, the your physical environment. This is a animation which is showing this approach. Yeah? So it's a kind of a magic for hardware minded people. Yeah? Imagine that to do this in the in the hardware. You have to shut down your server yeah? and upgrade it somehow. Yeah? Put a new CPU, put more memory, and then restart it. Yeah? Even if you are prepared, it will take you at least one, two hours. Yeah? Here you can do it like this. Okay, so I mentioned this uh, here is also can be used uh, from time to time. You need to do some maintenance. Yeah, uh, there are some upgrades. You need to do some to install some upgrades in your environment, or you need to do some patches. Uh, so you have to shut down your server for a while, your physical server. Uh, in a non-virtualized world, it would mean that yeah, downtime, plenty downtime. In virtual world, that means basically. You redistribute your virtual machines and uh, you do your homework and then you restart and rebalance again. Availability, yeah, you know, if you talk about the interservers like five years ago, it was usually not a good match, yeah. Internal environment, Microsoft environment and high availability. Yeah? Now it's uh, with virtualized, well, it's much, much easier because we have this concept of VMFS, which is a clustered file system which can be concurrently accessed, and you have a shared, map, uh, shared storage. Basically, there are two agents running in, in two servers. Yeah? As soon as the server is, uh, and there is a heartbeat between them, as soon as the heartbeat is there is no response from the other server. The other server is taking over and he is basically booking from the VMFS the image of the virtual machines which were affected by the, uh, by the downtime of one server. Uh, what does it mean? That uh, you know, in the, in the Intel space before, for your mission critical applications, yeah, you were somehow over provisioning your, your hardware resources. You put some cluster, you put some <coughs> Microsoft cluster or Veritas cluster, and you usually, users are usually trying to protect the most critical uh, and mission critical applications, yeah? Because it's very, very expensive, yeah? What this virtualization actually gives you is uh, protection for the rest of it, yeah? For every application which is, a, again, at least for me, a step forward, a major step forward. Infrastructure means, you know, that you have to not only have you know, computing resources and high availability not only means, you know, restart, reboot, it also means some backup, uh, backup restore. Uh, again, in virtualized work, backup is easier, is faster, uh, because you don't deal you don't deal with the real world, yeah. You deal with, uh, with your images uh, of your virtual servers. So if you are running your Tivoli or your Veritas or your networker, basically everything stays 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 the same. But you are doing backup from snapshots or clones of your virtual virtual servers. You can do file level backup as well as you can do the image backup. So file backup is operational backup, day-to-day yeah, -day incremental. Image backup is when you really want to to backup the whole uh, the, the whole environment. So th this was the the first area where VMware is present, yeah, the the data center. Yeah. Uh, the other major part of our interest is the software developers. Uh, Software houses where uh, also there is a lot of servers, yeah. And the issue is that uh, the provisioning of, the, of these servers is very, very cumbersome, yeah. 